Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we are talking about all my minis that I'm currently working on. So if you want to see how I'm going on the products that are in my mini marathon challenge, then let's get straight into it. So this month was, um, it's kind of successful, but at the same time, not successful. Uh, I did use up two products. I would have obviously loved to have used up even more than that, but you win some, you lose some. I'm getting like this close to some of the products being finished, but hopefully next update or the update after will definitely have some more products, especially lip products finished so we might start with i don't know maybe this one because you know we can't we can't really talk about if i've actually made any progress on this one but this is the still a huge extreme lash mascara um this isn't my favorite list mascara but i'm going to keep it in the project for maybe another month or two uh, I find this formula like a little bit too wet for my liking and because I do have lashes that are already a little bit long, um, I like my mascaras to be like dry a bit quicker and not stay wet for as long. Otherwise I do get like the little dots from the tips of my lashes like all over my eyelids. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but it's an all right mascara. I did get this sample for free. so. You can't exactly complain a whole lot about a free mascara. Um, then I have my Bite Beauty uh, lip pencil in the color Pomegranate. Now this one is the red one and I was, I was really hoping that I would use this lip product more than I did this month. But I still, actually I don't even know whether I even use this once. Um, I still am slowly chugging away through this one because it's a bright lipstick. It's just one that's going to take me a lot longer to get through because, you know, on a daily basis, I'm wearing something like this. So it's a lot harder for me to get through brighter lipsticks. And when I'm doing like crazy eye looks like this, where I look like a hot mess, <laughs> I prefer to have like a more neutral um, lip on so that's why this one's taking me forever to get through but in saying that nude is where it's at this is the bite beauty high pigment pencil lip pencil in the color meritage i feel like i am saying this wrong every time i say the name of this lip pencil i've made like epic progress on this because this is how much I have left. I have this tiny little nubbin left and I feel like touch wood. I don't know if you're made out of wood, but touch, touch wood, um, that we get this one finished in the next month because I think it's a very real possibility because I've been powering through this one. And if I do continue to um, reapply this throughout the day, so that means that I would be using this at least math <laughs> that means i would be using this or i would use this at least 20 times in one month if i'm reapplying it like every day that i work i work five days a week i work full time so if i applied this um at least 20 times i think that i could easily have this one finished and then if i like reapply like if i reapply at morning tea time and i reapply after lunch uh, i think that i would definitely have this one finished cross our fingers for that one another lip product that i think i am getting close on but i think this one will take me at least maybe two months because this lipstick is a lot firmer it's, it's a much firmer formula so i think maybe it might take me a little bit longer so i'm guessing probably two months on this in saying that though i did use a fair amount of this this month this is my nars lipstick in the color Tulede. Or to, to let it. I, I, once again, I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time I say that name as well. But um, you may have remembered, or you may remember in my last update, it was quite a lot bigger, and I had only just started to um, touch the top of the NARS imprint on the tube, and I've completely gotten rid of the NARS imprint. So 
if that's a good indication to show how much I've used this month, um, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Uh, but this is how much I have left. And I think, like I said, this one will probably take me maybe another month and a half, maybe two months because it is a firmer formula. But once again, same as the color Meritage, I am wearing this every single day. This one probably gets anywhere between five to six uses a week. So I probably will get through this one pretty quickly if I continue with the same wearing, the same application amount. <laughs> Whatever that means. Next I have my NARS Larger Than Life Long Wear Eyeliner in Viva Veneto. And I didn't wear this one all that much this month. I just wasn't feeling the black liner. I must have worn it a little bit because I feel like it's dropped quite dramatically. But I might be, you know, just trying to toot my own horn there. Um, and this takes forever. <laughs> This takes forever to wind up. Please hold. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this is how much I have left on this one. Um, yeah. So I need to wear this a little bit more to see more progress with this one. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all my Project Panty products at the moment. So there are products like this and like the Red Lip product that are kind of just totally been forgotten about because, you know, there's a lot going on. I've used this one a bit, not as much as I would have liked this month. So we're going to continue to power on with this one, but this one will definitely be, I think, another couple of months before we see the end of that one. But really annoying, I dropped this one this month and now it has like this massive like chip out of the end of the packaging there, which is annoying. My lip glosses. So I have two lip glosses in this project at the moment. The first one is the Tarte lip gloss in the color Finn. I think that's the name. I could just be making that up. Um, but that is what is like printed on the bottom of the tube here. But it, it doesn't look official or anything like that. I'm just making this shit up. I don't mind this lip gloss. It's taking me a while to get through, but... I don't know whether you're going to be able to see, but there are like some windows in there and it's starting to become a little bit clearer. Um, but there is a lot of product built up on the sides of this one and I can definitely like scrape the sides down. Um, it's still pulling out a fair bit of product when I, um, <laughs> when I apply it. This is the lip gloss that's in my handbag that I apply over the color Meritage when I'm touching up at work my lip. But yeah, I think that this one will outlast the lip pencil. So this one will probably follow on and be the accompaniment to the replacement of Meritage because there's a lot of lip gloss in there for one tiny little tube. As well as this tube, there's a lot of lip gloss in this tube as well. But I think on this one, I am about halfway. Uh, I had to like warm this up the this week um, because I was having trouble getting product out of the tube. It all settled down the bottom here. It felt like every time I pulled the Dofa, the Dofa, Dofa, um, out of the... Um, the tube not much product was coming out of it so i warmed this one up this week and i laid it on its side so some of the product that built up on the bottom here came closer up towards the top and now when i pull the doe foot out um there's a glorious amount of lip gloss on it so yeah i will say like i really like this lip gloss but the packaging does not make it easy to get like the last little bits out so i'm probably going to have to take the stopper out or like warm it up again and lay it on its side so the product moves up closer to the top of the tube instead of being all settled down the bottom here but still really liking this lip gloss i think it's a great lip gloss formula and wearing it today over the NARS lipstick. These two have been a pair, the NARS and the Fenty, and then the Bite and the Tarte 
have been a pair. Laura Mercier caviar stick in the color copper. I was living for this product this month. I feel like I made so much progress on this product this month. I don't know if you can see it down in the tube there. You might be able to see, but I've made a decent amount of progress on this one. There's still a bucket load of product in this tube, but I was using this so much this month. Like I was just living for the copper lid and brown eye look like I was living my best bronzy eye look this month because I would do a brown matte in the crease blend it out a bit and then I would just throw this all over the lid and I loved how it looked so plus I wanted to really make some good progress on this product and that I did that I definitely did if I do the same thing again over the next couple of months I don't want to wear the same eye look every day but at the same time it kind of ends up looking the same most days anyway. So as long as I'm still working on this quite a lot, I think that I will get this one done before the end of the year, which it, <laughs> I'm speechless. If I could get this done before the end of the year and then maybe start working on another one of the Laura Messier caviar sticks, like that would be a dream. <laughs> that would be a dream come true. And then I can accept my award. My last two products are products that I am rolling out because I have finished them up. The first one is the Quarterly Instant Detox Mask. I didn't touch this one. So I rolled this in two months ago. Last update, I hadn't touched this at all. This month, I managed to completely use it up. I think I used this maybe two or three times and I, it's completely gone. So glad to have another mini skincare product out of my collection. And the other one that I used up Finally, finally, this one has been in this project for so long. This is the Tarte Moody Lip Surgeon Lip Tint. Um, this product is shit, like it's terrible. Uh, I think because, like I don't even know how to express how bad this product was. I think because it's like this kind of sheer, but colored product and it kind of, balls up and clings to itself so when I rubbed my lips together like I would apply this all over my lips looking great looking fabulous I would rub my lips together and it kind of just like all balled up together and I would have like these lines of purple on my lips not a good look at all so I'm really glad that I got this one done and dusted to like at the end of the, the product like I used this one or two times I was like this product is shit like it is balls and then like after I figured out like what kept happening I only wore this pretty much as like a lip balm kind of product I'm so glad to be done with this I'm so glad to be finished um so yeah that one's going and needless to say will not ever repurchase that product I don't even know if Tarte makes them anymore but if they do I will not be repurchasing so Rolling two new products in. Um, first of all, I'm rolling in a mask to replace the mask. This is the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. I've used this, I think, once previously. I do really like how this smells. Uh, but this is a vitamin C mask that you're supposed to apply on your skin and then rinse off after 15 minutes. So I think that this one... I don't know I wouldn't like I, I want to just not burn through this because Tatcha is hella expensive um I would actually like to use this sensibly and not like overuse it so I, <laughs> I'd like to make this last more than a month but we'll see how we go we'll see like how much you use each time I use it and whatnot but brightening masks love them peeling masks also love them clay masks also love them. I am a masking fiend, so I love including masks in this project. And then the last product, um, I am actually not going to replace the Tarte Lip Surgeon with a lip product because I feel like <laughs> I feel like five lip products is enough. And I also have a full size lipstick in another project. So six lip products that I'm working on at once, I think, is more than enough. I've dug myself a deep enough hole 
with that without rolling in another new one so to replace my tart lip surgeon i am rolling in the makeup forever step one skin equalizer mattifying primer i have about half of this one left and i'm rolling this one in because sneak peek sneak peek i don't have any primers in any of my projects at the moment for the remainder of the month. So I'm going to roll this one in because this one's getting, hmm. this one is like very old. This is like, needs to be sent to the retirement home. That's how old this one is. Um, so I'm hoping that I can power through this one in the next couple of coming months because this is actually quite expensive in Australia. I think these minis at Sephora are like $30. So obviously I want to get my money's worth because I actually paid for this product. I didn't get it as a freebie or in like a sample bag or any kit or anything like that. Like I actually paid for this with my own money. So I wanna get my money's worth out of it. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I paid like $30 for this. So. I want to use it before it goes bad. It may have already gone bad, but we'll see. We'll see over the next coming month whether that's true or not. So yeah, that's two roll-ins, two roll-outs, as per usual with my mini marathon. Um, I'm happy with my progress. And next month, I'm hoping that I can roll out at least one lip product, maybe a lip gloss. That'd be fantastic, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, yeah, so that's my update on my mini marathon challenge. Let me know down in the comments box how you are going on your mini products or on your lip products. I know lip products take forever, forever to get through. So let me know how you are going on any products that you are focusing on and trying to get out of your collection. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this concept, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're a project panner and you do wanna do a project like this, or if you've already started a project like this, um, please let me know down in the comments box so I can go check it out. I would love to see more people do the mini marathon challenge. Um, yeah, so if you've seen anyone do this as well, let me know down in the comments box. If you're new around here and you wanna keep up to date on all my videos, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also have your notifications turned on if you do wanna get notified when my videos go live. I wanna say a massive thank you to my members. If you are interested in checking out my membership, then you can check all that information out down below by pressing the join button. It'll tell you all the information and what extra bits and pieces you get in each membership level. That's it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today on another project panning update. I hope you are staying safe and healthy. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.